down here to the bottom so we can dedicate a huge amount of screen real estate to your content. Um, the first website I'm showing is a sample HTML5 audio website. So imagine I'm browsing on the web, I'm looking at an audio service, uh, I can move over here and I'll touch the play button. And hopefully you can hear this, we have a little mic on stage. I'm now playing audio. I can press the skip forward and play different audio. All of this with standards-based HTML tags. If I press the start button and navigate out of the browser, just as we now will support background audio for native apps, we support background audio for HTML5 coming from the browser. Oh, thank you. Glad you like, glad you like that. Thank you. Uh, also, if I'm on the start menu, I can use the phone's volume controls to pause the HTML audio. So that's the first example. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over. I'll show you. Here's the tab UI. Um, I want to switch over to a real-world website. This is not a sample that we put together or built up or anything. This is Boston.com, the website of the Boston Globe. And what the folks at Boston.com are doing is using HTML5's video tag to have standards-based support for video on their website. And on our phones, that's great because it lets a user go straight to the Boston website. Uh, I'm going to navigate over here, press play on the video, and you see H.264 video natively supported on the phone. It's quick to load. It streams very nicely. Uh, we'll get to actual quality here. You see the quality of the video looks great. We provide a full screen viewer with user controls right there for pause and resume. And if I go back, of course, I'll go right back to the website. Also, actually, while I'm here, it's worth mentioning, I've seen people posting on blogs uh, with IE today on Windows Phone. Some people are disappointed that in landscape mode, you don't get the address bar there on the bottom. Well, you can see here in IE9 on uh, Mango, we fixed that. When I go back to portrait, uh, it rotates around and moves back to the bottom. So uh, that new design helps to make the landscape and portrait experiences a little bit more consistent. Okay, one more demo. Uh, now I'm going to switch over to favorites. I'm going to move this USB cable out of the way. Hopefully I keep my connectivity. And I want to show you an example of the performance benefit that some uh, HTML5 sites are going to get um, with uh, the hardware acceleration that's built in. So let me bring some friends on stage here alongside our Windows phone. Uh, I've got an iPhone 4 and uh, Nexus S and uh, Windows Phone 7 running IE9. Remember, same IE9 core browsing engine with hardware acceleration onto the phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to load an HTML5 speed reading demo on all three of the phones. So let me try to get these ready, and I'm going to do my best to launch them basically simultaneously. Um, in fact, I'm just going to give the iPhone a little head start here because I have only two fingers. So we'll start the HTML5 speed reading there. And now I'm going to start these two at the same time. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. Um, and let's watch these browsers in action. Now down at the bottom, what you'll see is uh, a frame rate. Um, and you can see the hardware acceleration gets the Windows Phone frame rate up to 23 here. Android is going at 11, and the iPhone's at 2. And you see the page is loaded. There we go. Uh, Windows Phone 7's browser is finished rendering the page. The Android phone is almost there, and the iPhone is a little ways behind. Thank you. We're, we're really very appreciative uh, of the work that Dean and his team have done on the PC to introduce HTML5 standards-based native browsing with hardware acceleration. It's good for the PC. It's great for phone users, too. And we think it's going to really uh, make a lot of end users and a lot of you really happy this fall with that capability on the phones.